Netflix as I made the Black Powder Time series videos, I always thought, similarly, I missed something. I always focus on the firearms, but I forgot the swords, pikes, and bows, which actually were used as the military weapon with the firearms in the same time. And there are many interesting things appeared among the stories of the swords, pikes, and bows. And this is the first episode, and let me call this new series. The sword and arrow. In the first episode, I would like to use the Japanese katana, which is one of the most iconic cold weapons in the world, at the start of the series videos. Katana. When we see this word, usually we can remember the saber of Japanese samurai, but in fact, strictly speaking, this may not be right, because in Japanese, katana is just referred to as a knife, sword. Not only referring the Japanese sword, but also the foreign sword, like the Chinese sword, European saber, etc. In today's story, the traditional Japanese sabers, and in Japanese language, it can be called Nihonto. In this area, there are many classification methods, like classification by shapes, different ages, building base. Today, we will classify the Nihonto as the shapes. Okay, now the first is Ken. Will be called Tsurugi. Ken has a very old kind of weapon with the time going, especially until Kofun period, about 1500 years ago to 1700 years ago. Many kens continue to be crafted for decorative, ceremonial, and Buddhist ritual purpose in later period, and were losing their functions of a weapon. The features of this are on the blade, and meanwhile, this is also an ancient Japanese sword that has not been influenced by foreign countries. So this may be a very original Japanese sword. The blade has no warping, and is completely double-edged from the tip to the blade section and the ridge section. Nowadays, we still can see the king in museum and besides the Asian king, which is hundreds of years old, and there are also some souls that were built in modern time. The second is Chuk Do. In fact, it has a similar point with king. Both have the straight edge of blade, although some of Chuk Do may exhibit a slightly inward curve. This type of sword, also known as Tachi, was permanent until the Nara period. Typically, they are constructed with a Hirazukuli or Kirihazukuli style. Both are two kinds of traditional types of Japanese katana shapes. And actually, the Japanese katana type of the shapes has not only these two kinds, so we may continue talking about this topic in the future. So, for Chokudo, many of them also feature a double-edged design extending to the tip or halfway along the blade. When the time went into the Henan period, the kind of sword which had the curve the blade did was referred to as Wando or Magali Katana. Then, this is Yoroi Doshi, which means this knife can pierce the armor and it has a narrow vase and a thin overlapping structure. This weapon had a short blade length of around 21 cm and a weight of around 2.1 cm. Well, in fact, with the time going, the corresponding size also was changed during the hundreds of years of history. In addition, just like this name, it is designed for quickly drawing and targeting gaps in armor during close combat. It's commonly worn on the right side of the waist during the battles, and is sometimes referred to as matesashi. Meanwhile, there are also some examples of nameless yoroi doshi knives, or custom made for the class of samurai daisho in order to do one-on-one -on -one combat. Naginata, to be honest, when I saw it at the first time, I found that this weapon is similar with a kind of traditional Chinese weapon, which also was used by the famous Wu Jiang, who was Guan Yu. Also, is one of the famous characters in Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Well, coming back to Naginata, this is a weapon designed for sweeping streaks. In contrast to blades, 
that primarily rely on cutting as the main attack method. It is a long-handled weapon with a curved blade. It is also spelled as Naganata. Based on Naginata, there is a kind of modified sword. This is Naginata Naoshi. This kind of weapon has been transformed into swords based on the Naginata. Many of them have a blade shape with an inward curve, known as Unokubizukuri or Shobuzukuri. Both are the traditional Japanese katana shapes. Because there are more than two categories, I plan to use two videos to introduce this classical code weapon. Meanwhile, in the next video, we will see more kinds of famous Nihonto. And this usually is our real imagining of the katana, and also it's a famous or popular character in anime and even in the western films. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. See you next time soon.